Yeah, for me, being an explorer is about being curious. Um, you're actually looking for things um, to answer specific questions, and that can be anything from, you know, who we are and why we're here to what can we do to, you know, to keep the planet alive for, for future generations. In 2013, biological anthropologist and emerging explorer Marina Elliott joined an excavation team working to recover unidentified bones in South Africa. I was the first scientist to go into the cave uh, once it, the, the actual remains had been discovered. It's pitch dark, it's quite warm, it's a little bit sticky because it's very humid, and all you see is what your headlamp shows you because you're deep underground. The effort was launched by National Geographic explorer at large, Lee Berger. I had no illusions that, that this was gonna be easy. And I think they were terrified and I was terrified. They were still untested. We took them through the caves, testing their capabilities in this system. Lee Berger's team is exploring a cave system called Rising Star in a region known as the Cradle of Humankind. The Cradle is one of several locations in Africa where humans are believed to have emerged. Located about 30 miles from Johannesburg, South Africa, the cave is the site of the single largest cache of fossil hominins ever discovered in Africa. Excavations of Rising Star will prove extremely challenging with a variety of dangerous and claustrophobic terrain. The descent is difficult. And I, as I looked down, I thought, oh, you know, <laughs> I don't know if, I'm, if I can do this. But then once I was committed to go down, it was actually much, much easier than I was dreading. Elliot was recruited not only for her scientific background, but because she was an experienced caver who also met the physical profile required to navigate the cave's narrow passages and tight spaces. Just trying to also slow it down a bit because I've got the GoPro running. The team wasn't exactly sure what they would find in Rising Star. I've seen a skull, I've seen the other pieces. I am pretty sure that uh, we have got quite a lot of, of a skeleton of at least one hominin. Possibly a single individual, perhaps Australopithecus. The human ancestral tree is really more of a bush, full of offshoots and deviations. And the present fossil record suggests that sometime between two and three million years ago, Australopiths evolved into the first members of the genus Homo. Paleoanthropologists are still working in places like Rising Star Cave to learn more about our own species, Homo sapiens. First of all, the cave is beautiful, just geologically beautiful. And then you look down and there was just a sea of bone. And it was obviously just not regular bone. <laughs> so, yeah, it was amazing, amazing. And it was surreal. Skull is being flagged. You can see the skull here. <laughs> She's now flagging the mandible. And, and then the process started. The process of doing science began. So we'll put pin number one right beside the mandible, and that's where we'll concentrate. OK. OK, das ist super. OK, thanks. Bye. Yeah, that's perfect right there. OK, going to start scanning. OK, scan. I see what looks like a mandible in the middle there on the right. That looks fantastic. The team initially predicted they would excavate the fossils of a previously discovered hominin, if not Australopithecus, then perhaps Homo habilis. But it was impossible to be 100% sure until samples could be closely examined above ground. When they opened that little box and we unwrapped this thing that they collected, every great idea we had went out the window. Gone. Throughout the three-week excavations, it becomes remarkably clear. Not only is there more than one skeleton, but it's definitely not Australopithecus. The material that we recovered is, is abundant, so we have a very large amount of fossils, 1,500 fossils, the largest single assemblage in history. As more fossils are unearthed, 
a picture of the creature of the Rising Star Cave begins to emerge. And with the excavation of a skull, the team finds they have discovered a new species. A species they will call Homo noleti, or star, in the Sotho language for the cave in which it was found. Homo noleti is what we call an early hominin, so a, a distant, maybe, relative of humans, not necessarily on our own line, but a, a general relative or cousin of ours. It existed in South Africa somewhere around 350 to 250,000 years ago. One of the things that Homo noleti has really, I think, really done is really reinforce for us that we don't know what we thought we knew. For a long time, I think we thought we sort of wrapped it up. We had a bunch of fossils, we had what we thought was a good story to tell, and what Homo Noleti has done is, is kind of force a, a whole-scale rethink of that. It's actually kind of revolutionizing paleoanthropology, but in a very, very good way, I think.